We are always investigating. In this case, a home remodeling company that apparently scammed many customers in our area out of thousands of dollars. We first told you about this last week, and we've been inundated by emails from more victims. CBS 2's Charlie Damar live in the newsroom for us tonight with an update. And Charlie, there might be at least a glimmer of hope for some or at least a couple of these customers anyway. And Joe and Erica, over the weekend, we had even more people reach out to us and share their stories of dealing with Window Depot USA of Chicago. Some of the victims estimate at least $200,000 has been taken in deposits for work that either never started or was not completed. I'm retired. Fixed income, the $4,000 is a lot of money to me. How, how can you even get away with this? Then it turns out these people are nothing but scammers. A senior citizen from Tinley Park and two Chicago area men join a growing list of people we've introduced you to who say they were scammed by Window Depot of Chicago. I'm angry. I'm really angry. Annette Nunnally and Tom Arnswald both were referred to Windows Depot of Chicago by Home Advisor, an online service that connects people to vetted home improvement professionals. This is not about poor workmanship. Um, this is about not doing any work at all and just taking the money and and going. Arnswald handed over $2,800 for improvements to this home in Chicago and Nunnally lost several thousand. But a spokesperson for Home Advisor says they'll make it right and compensate them. Arnswald says despite the financial relief, he will continue to fight until owners Dan Fought and Eric Smith are held responsible. Dan can be seen in this promotional video posted to Facebook. We have some quick turnaround times in regards to our windows and siding and roofing. During a guest appearance on a business podcast last March, Eric was asked what he considered to be the most important virtues in running a business, to which he replied. Yeah, honesty, I'd say, is the biggest. Um, and that was one of the things that I liked so much about the Window Depot process. His philosophy was so much different than what the way they actually, you know, operated. You know, some people, they rob with a gun, others do with a pen and paper. It's still the same. It's still a crime. And these people need to be brought to justice. Tonight, we're talking to a former employee. Joseph Segudo thought he was alone until he saw our story on Window Depot of Chicago last week. My jaw dropped. My jaw dropped. And I was like, I cannot believe, like, like finally. He lost about $7,000 money intended for new windows on his home in Aurora. Do you think that there should be legal consequences for the owners of this company? Oh, absolutely. Now, Home Advisor says along with compensating some customers, they have removed Window Depot USA of Chicago from their network. We have reached out repeatedly to the national parent company for comment and have yet to receive a response to all of these allegations. Live in the newsroom, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Joe and Erica. Yeah, and still so many people out so much money. Charlie, thank you for that update.